Hey guys, today I'm sharing with you how I managed to learn eight different languages on a conversational level. Please make sure you watch this video until the end if you do want to hear all of my tips. Also, if you liked the video, please give it an extra like and don't forget to subscribe. First of all, of course I don't speak all of these languages fluently because some of them I learned for a longer time, some for a shorter time and some of them of course I don't use regularly. All in all, I do however get by no matter which of those languages I speak. Also, I did not grow up bilingual, so when and how did I acquire those language skills? Obwohl mein Vater bungländische Kroate ist, haben wir zu Hause nie Kroatisch gesprochen oder gelernt, sondern wurden in unserer Muttersprache Deutsch erzogen. Das heißt, bis zur vierten Klasse Volksschule habe ich praktisch nur Deutsch gesprochen. Then at the age of nine, which is the fourth grade primary school, I started to learn English and I had English for eight years in junior and senior high school. So basically, I learned English for nine whole years. Puis, quand j'ai eu 12 ans, j'ai commencé à apprendre le français pendant 6 ans. On pouvait aussi choisir le latin, mais j'étais plus intéressée par le français. J'ai donc appris le latin seulement pendant 4 ans. En cas de mal, je me suis fait un peu de temps pour faire un peu de temps pour Samo sam znala koje jednostavne rečenice kao dobar dan, lako noć, kako si. Ali htjela sam već odavno naučiti jezik svoga oca, tako da sam studirala slavistiku na sve učilištu. Vtoro jezik katori je učila s univerzitet je to ruski, no ja izučala ruski jezik toliko dva goda. No, ja očijem dolga nije kavarila pa ruski, no se čas, ja dumaju, je vzio za bela. Mo ću čao hai hen gong ga si yao, ngo ho gong dong wa, kei sa, ngo ho lai mo gong gong dong wa, ngo lam yi ga, ngo ga zong man, ho da to. Ho lai ne, wo ban da tai wan de shi ho, wo yi kai si mei shue guo zong wen, liang nian ho, wo kai si shue zong wen, si yin wei wo si jue de, hui jiang zong wen dui wo de gong zuo, jiu si hen da de yi ge bang zu, jiu si, Tip number one is speak. Don't be afraid to talk. I know everybody gets insecure when learning a new language. I myself was really shy when I was younger and if I could I would slap my younger self for not speaking because some of my language skills today could be much better. Nobody really minds if you make mistakes, whether it's grammatically or having a strong accent. As long as people understand you, that is really all that counts. People will be mostly delighted whenever a foreigner speaks their language and nobody expects you to have some kind of translation degree or whatever. Everybody, trust me, every single person makes mistakes and trust me on this, nobody really cares if you do. Tip number two, the more the merrier. This is not an actual tip, but it is a fact. The more languages you learn, the easier it gets, especially if you learn languages from different language groups. The more different grammatical structures you know, the more similarities you will find later on and it will just simplify your learning process. Tip number three is watch as many YouTube videos and TV shows and movies and documentaries and whatever in that language that you are learning. Also listen to the music of that specific country. Surrounding yourself acoustically and visually with that language will just speed up your process and it will also help you with your accent. So one thing that I did when learning Chinese was to watch some interviews on YouTube of people that I'm interested in and I would try to write down word by word what they were saying. It was really difficult at first but you will be surprised about how quickly your language will improve. Important, don't force yourself to watch anything that you're not interested in because you will get bored quickly and you will lose focus and probably never do this exercise again. Tip number four, spending time in that actual country makes things easier. What I mean is being surrounded by native speakers and being confronted with daily responsibilities that require you to use that language works like magic. Whether you're shopping for groceries or asking for directions, being forced to use that language works like 
nothing else. Tip number five is focus on what you really want most out of this language, which I guess for most of us is to be able to communicate verbally. When I started learning Chinese, I had the option to go to a proper Chinese class and learn everything, including writing and reading. But this was too time consuming for me and I knew that I don't necessarily need to know how to write. Listening and speaking was the most important thing for me for Chinese. And over time, by texting with my friends, I just learned to read and use the pinyin on the phone. Don't waste time on something that you don't need. Tip number six is freshen up your language whenever possible. You will forget vocabulary and grammatical rules whenever you don't use a language. This happens to me all the time. It's just human. Our brain is not a machine, at least not mine. So one thing that really does help me with not forgetting everything I've learned so far is to either listen to the music and learn the lyrics or to keep textbooks or any kind of books in different languages at home and then just go through them from time to time. Also, if you do, like me, have a lot of friends from different nationalities, just try to talk to them in their language. Just say a couple of sentences. I'm sure they would love to talk to you in their mother's tongue. And if you do mock you, then just reconsider your friendships. So those were my tips on how to simplify learning multiple languages. I hope they're helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Out of this language. 하지만 한국어는...